Cop called to home for child abuse, kicks in door, finds daughter. Cop called to home for child abuse kicks in door finds daughter when an Arizona, police officer, and father of two was responding to a call for suspected child abuse. He had no idea his life as he knew it would be forever changed when they pulled up to the house upon entering the home. However, the cop was left shaken by the side in front of him also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real life stories. Every day now, back to the story, Kingman Police Department, Lt. Brian Zack, a father of two, was working. The night shift as a patrol sergeant when he received a call asking him to perform a welfare check at a nearby home. According to ABC 11. He responded to the call, not realizing that his life would never again be the same after what he was about to witness inside the residence. Her injuries were definitely abuse and it needed to be investigated. When Zach arrived at the house and went inside, he found a little girl and immediately knew something was terribly wrong. The moment he laid eyes on her, her name was Kayla and she was just a toddler at the time. Sadly, the little girl was so badly hurt. It was obvious, she'd been abused. One of her eyes was swollen. She had dried blood in both her ears. She had different coloring of bruises all about her face, but she was still happy-go-lucky, a little two-year-old making matters worse. This was the third time her abuse had been reported to authorities according to Breitbart, and I recognized her injuries and what they meant and the abuse that she suffered in different stages. So I know something wasn't right. I took care of her took her back to the station. Zach recalled adding we watched Wreck-It Ralph and we just bonded the pair bonded so much in just five hours together. In fact, that Zach, although not knowing yet at the time, had found a little girl who would eventually become his daughter, told my wife, that the story about this little girl that I just bonded with and would love to bring her home. But this wasn't a first for the loving police officer in the past 15 years. I've said that many times to my wife of some kid that I met that I would love to bring home and love and take care of. So it was nothing new for her. I had a lot of child abuse cases and there's always kids that would bond with and I'd love to take him out of bad situations and bring him home Zach furthered. So this was nothing new. What was new, however, was the fact that this time it would happen, a little girl would find her forever home with a police officer and his family in Kingman, Arizona. However, it wouldn't happen overnight. Instead, it would take two and a half years to make it official. After a representative with the Arizona Department of Child Safety, Axe took Kayla to the hospital for evaluation and treatment of her injuries. Zach went home, but he wasn't able to forget about little Caleb wondering how the toddler was doing. Zach called Azdx and asked if he could visit her in the hospital, got an update on Kyla and find out that she was transported to Vegas and got a bait on her injuries and uh, that she would be in Vegas for a little bit. So I asked if I could be on the list to see her, because I know in child abuse cases the policeman was granted permission and it didn't take long before his family began talking about having Kayla stay with them. So we had a family meeting and it was, I showed them a picture of Kyla and said this little girl may need to come to our house for some love and care for a little bit. We don't know how long, but it could be a couple weeks. A month or so, and we just want to provide our loving home and everyone was on board since the agency couldn't find any family members who were willing to care for the little girl. The DCS worker asked the question that changed our life and it was, would you consider being placement for her? I met her Saturday night and Wednesday night. She was dropped off at her house. Zach and his wife Sierra took her in, but it wasn't easy feat at all. In fact, there was a lot that went into giving Kayla the home she deserved. We had to get a bed, we had to get a high chair, potty chair. She came with a bag of clothes that didn't fit her in a sippy cup, and that was it Zach recalled according to Easy Family. For two and a half years, the Zacks cared for Kayla before officially adopting her in 2020, when she was four years old. The court signs the order of adoption. Congratulations. This weight was lifted because I knew that I didn't have to worry about who was going to be taking care of her who was going to be loving her. The best thing to come out of 2020 is the fact that we gained an official member of our family, a very happy Lieutenant Brian Zack declared. That was my Christmas present. He added and he's not the only one, who's thrilled with the way things turned out. As both Sierra and Kayla had some declarations of their own, I would definitely encourage people to do it. Sierra said, speaking of the fostering and adoption process, because there's so many kids who need guys, even if it's just for a small amount of time, you can make such an impact following Kayla's adoption, Brian and Sierra Zach, said they're planning to renew their foster license and help more kids, I love him. 
I love him so much and who could blame her after experiencing abuse at the hands of those who were supposed to love her. This child was finally granted the home and loving family. She deserved thanks to a police officer who went above and beyond the call of duty, in a big way when we got her, she basically knew three words. She grunted, like a caveman, didn't know how to talk. Now. She loves to talk Zach admitted thrilled to report that Kayla's now happy and flourishing, which children tend to do in a safe and loving home. So job well done officer Zach. Let's hope this display of love and compassion sets an example for others to follow. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video yo.